Those conflicts that lasted for, you know, hundreds of years across the borders with raiding and bad blood between both sides was just caused by an event here where Edward I sat in this room and just listened and to, you know, Balliol swearing fealty, but it had a very different meaning for both men. Alongside this here, we have another room. So I'll just take you up here, just off the Great Hall. And this room here is what's considered a very uh, pleasant prison. And you'll look at it and go, this doesn't seem very pleasant, Alex. But this here is a prison just off the side of the Great Hall. Now this prison here is, because it's off the side of the Great Hall, would mean it's very easy access for someone to be able to come along and uh, they'll be imprisoned inside here, but they've also got access to the Great Hall as well, so they can be taken down to the Great Hall and be a part of events in there as well. And it's also quite a high status uh, prison because just along inside here, we've actually got an ensuite toilet or a guardrobe. So just here you've got a loo and then the prison itself. And so this would have probably been for very high status individuals to be locked inside here and kept inside here under lock and key, but they were still nobility or very important individuals. So you would probably have a nice bed in here, probably um, some form of entertainment, and they'd be allowed visitation rights. But at the same time, if we just look down in here, you can see the hole where a large beam of wood would have gone across the door to stop them leaving any time they wanted. And it's very likely that Robert the Bruce's sister, when she was captured, was kept inside of that room. She's the sister to a, a man of royal blood, a man who has a claim to be king. And so she can't be harmed, but you want to make sure that you have her so you can control her brother. And so she was likely kept in there, but brought down here for events, for um, social life with the other lords and ladies. And she wouldn't have been kept in a dungeon or anything like that because she's a high status woman. At the other end, which is not a prison, right through here we have the Queen's Solar, uh, or the Queen's Room. And this isn't actually, there isn't any evidence to suggest that this was actually a, a bedroom for a royal woman, but it's definitely the high status room for traveling um, female and male royals. So when the king visited Newcastle, this is the room he would stay in. This is where Edward I would have stayed. This is where other high status lords and officials would have had their bedroom. And when they would have stayed here, obviously just like in the prison, you've just got off this room, its own ensuite toilet as well. So just there, another toilet for the royal bottom. And then just along here, you would have come back into your room where you would have had a very nice bed and it would have been an incredibly comfortable and high luxury room for someone who is so close to the Great Hall where this is an incredibly powerful place of politics. The room is also special because you've got this fireplace and this fireplace is one of the oldest fireplaces in England. It actually dates back to the early Nor uh, sorry, the Norman period. So it's a, a late Norman uh, fireplace and you've got these wonderful features in it that just are uh, just a part of Norman architecture. And I love that, that we've got this old fireplace right here in this room that has lasted from when the castle was built all the way through in this really high status room, which would have been warm and comfortable and a place where then a royal could come out and hold court and make decisions that would have a massive impact on nations, but also on history as well. So I really hope I've been able to show you around the great hall of Newcastle's castle, tell you some of its stories, show you some of the things inside here and explain why I love it so much and why it's had such a big impact on both English, Scottish and European history. I hope you'll join us for another video in the near future. Until then, stay safe and well and I look forward to seeing you soon.